So today I'm reading from Steve Stack, aka Scott Pack's new book, 21st Century Dodos, a collection of endangered objects and other stuff. The Sony Walkman. Now we come to our cover star, the Walkman. If Sony were to invent it today, it would have to be called the Walk Person. But back in the late 70s, it was perfectly acceptable to be sexist in a brand name. The origins of the Walkman are actually very interesting. It was created by a Sony engineer, Nobutoshi Kiara, for his chairman, Akio Morita. Morita was flying all around the world on business and wanted to be able to listen, be able to, listen to his favourite operas while travelling. Kiara created a portable tape player with small headphones, a personal stereo. Of course, Walkman is actually the Sony brand name. Most other manufacturers use personal stereo as a generic term. Although Sony were widely credited with inventing the technology, there was something called a stereo belt, created by a German, Andreas Pavel, in the early 70s. And 30 years later, Sony had to settle with him and credit, with him, credit him with founding the device. But whoever was responsible, it revolutionised entertainment for years, perhaps forever, with the current digital incarnation of iPods and similar devices, all owing a great debt to that first simple idea. I want to listen to music on the move without annoying the people around me. Or without annoying them too much. The incessant tss 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 of noise bleed from the headphones would gradually drive other people mad, especially on commuter trains and buses. This is still a problem today, but most would consider it a small price to pay in return for music on the go. The first Walkman was a cassette player, and that was the stand standard device for many years. It did evolve into a CD version, the Discman, and now the digital devices we know today. It was the accessory of choice for joggers and roller skaters throughout the 80s and paved the way for today's society where everyone goes around with white earbuds and no one talks to each other anymore. Oh. I'm sure there are still some people who own and use a Walkman in its original cassette form, but they must be few and far between. As is the nature with any cutting edge technology, it has been overtaken by smaller, better and cheaper devices. It played its part, but now it's been cast aside. End of side one.